डॉक्टर के मोहन सर हैज ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन टू अस डिफरेंट स्टेजेस ऑफ प्रोडक्शन ऑफ कंक्रीट लाइक बैचिंग मिक्सिंग एंड ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ कंक्रीट नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट डॉक्टर के मोहन सर टू टेल अस अबाउट रिमेनिंग फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ एग्रीगेट लाइक सेप ऑफ एग्रीगेट बल्क डेंसिटी वाइड्स एंड मॉइस्चर कंटेंट ओके मिस्टर सिंह द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ एग्रीगेट can be divided into two parts physical and mechanical properties of aggregate physical properties of aggregates are number one grading fineness modulus shape of aggregate specific gravity bulk density voids porosity and absorption of aggregates moisture content bulking of fine aggregate deleterious substances soundness of aggregate alkali aggregate reaction and thermal properties under mechanical properties we have aggregate pressing value aggregate impact value aggregate abrasion value i have already discussed some of the physical properties of aggregate as mentioned by mr singh now i will discuss remaining physical and mechanical properties of aggregate one by one now coming to physical properties of aggregate. shape of aggregate under shape of aggregate we have plequinex index and elongation index first plequinex index the plequinex index of aggregate is the percentage by weight of particles in it whose least dimension that is thickness is less than 3 fifths of their mean dimension the plequinex index is not applicable to sizes smaller than 6.3 the flickness index is taken as the total weight of the material passing the various thickness gauges expressed as a percentage of the total weight of the sample the elongation index of an aggregate is the percentage by weight of particles whose greatest dimension that is length is greater than 1.8 times their mean dimension the elongation elongation index is not applicable to sizes smaller than 6.3 mm the elongation index is the total weight of the material retained on the various length gauges expressed as a percentage of the total weight of the sample gauged the presence of elongated particles in excess of 10 to 15% is generally considered undesirable but no recognized limits are there now coming to specific gravity the specific gravity of an aggregate is defined as the ratio of the mass of solid in a given volume of sample to the mass of an equal volume of water at the same temperature since the aggregate generally contains voids there are different types of specific gravity the absolute specific gravity refers to the volume of solid material excluding the voids and therefore is defined as the ratio of the mass of solid to the weight of an equal void that is free volume of water at a stated temperature if the volume of aggregate includes the voids the resulting specific gravity is called apparent of bulk specific gravity it is therefore the ratio of the mass of the aggregate dried in an oven at 100 to 110 degree centigrade for 24 hours to the mass of the water occupying a volume equal to that of solids including wire shot gauges specific gravity of major aggregates falls within the range 2.6 to 2.9 it is not a measure of aggregate quality it is used for certain computation in a mixed design now bulk density the bulk density of an aggregate is defined as the mass of the material in a given volume and it expressed in kg per liter bulk density of aggregates depends upon three factors number 1 degree of compaction number 2 grading of aggregate and number 3 shape of aggregate part now voids the empty spaces between the aggregate particles are termed voids it is the difference between the gross volume of aggregate mass 
and the volume occupied by the particle is now porosity and absorption of x the entrapped air bubbles in the rocks during their formation lead to minute holes or cavities which are called as pores the porosity of rocks is less than 20% the porosity of aggregate contributes to porosity of concrete and it becomes permeable and affects bond between the aggregate and the cement the porous aggregate absorbs more mass yeah, resulting in loss of portability the percentage of water absorbed by an aggregate when immersed in water is termed the absorption of aggregate the moisture condition of aggregate are designated as number 1 over dry basis if the aggregate is previously dried in an oven at 105 degree centigrade to a constant weight before being immersed in water for 24 hours the absorption is referred to as an over dry basis number 2 air dry basis the percentage of water absorbed by an air dried aggregate when immersed in water for 24 hours is termed absorption of aggregate that is air dry basis and then saturated surface dry aggregate the aggregate which is saturated with water but contains no surface free moisture is termed the saturated surface dry that is ssd aggregate neither absorbing water from nor contributing water to the concrete then wet with free moisture containing an excess of moisture on the surface the knowledge of the absorption of an aggregate is important for concrete mixed design calculation then moisture content the surface moisture expressed as a percentage of the weight of this saturated surface dry aggregate is known as moisture content since the absorption represents the water contained in the aggregate in this saturated surface dry condition and moisture content is the water in excess of that the total water content of a moist aggregate is equal to the sum of absorption and moisture content the determination of moisture content of an aggregate is necessary in order to determine the net water cement ratio for a batch of concrete a high moisture content will increase the effective water cement ratio to an appreciable extent and may make the concrete be unless a suitable alliance is made aasa karte hain dosto aaj aapko achhi khasi jankari hasil hui hogi agar aapko video pasand aaya ho like aur share zarur kijiyega agar hamare youtube channel pe naye hain subscribe karna na bhule bell icon ko zarur hit kijiyega jisse aapko latest update notification milta rahega hamara motivation badhta rahega video dekhne ke liye bahut bahut dhanyawad